All right, so just a bonus one before we kick off this Ultimate Beginner's Guide. You can get 300 free coins on the PS Plus store if you are a PS Plus member. All right, let's welcome to our first eFootball 2024 Ultimate Beginner's Guide video. Are you confused? Because this game, genuinely, there's a lot to this game. There's a lot for newcomers. So we're going to kick off with one of the biggest things that I've been getting asked since eFootball 2024 has been out. And it's a tiny thing, but it obviously can be frustrating when you don't know where to look, right? So to change kits or to choose kits, to get kits, any kits you want, right? You can base your squad on any team in the game, right? That has kits, um, that has, you know, proper kits, right? You can actually choose whichever one you want. You have three kits or four kits, depending on how many kits are in per team. Some teams have two kits. They've got the home and away. They don't have the third some kits have some teams have four kits right so this used to be in the my team or in the option section now it's within the game plan so if you go into game plan and go to the base team settings there you can just choose whichever base team that you want so we're going to choose we just showed you manchester united kits we're going to choose let's say psg or let's say ac milan whoever we want to pick right we can just pick these kits go back out and then we will have these kits right here right now being modeled okay now this obviously also includes game plans so they've now changed it as well as you see the ac milan kits we just put on there which are very nice they've also changed it that this is game plan specific so instead of having to cha change your kits manually all the time you can now change them per game plan so whatever game plan you have you can just go in here and put whatever base team you want and you'll have the kits for that team on that game plan next up we have the claim all bonuses and complete all rewards listen I'm basing this video on a lot of newcomers coming over. I get a lot of questions in the live streams for people that have never played eFootball before and don't really understand the mechanics of the game and the infrastructure. So the first thing I would say, if you are a newcomer and it's your first time playing it, firstly, welcome. You have all of these campaigns on. This is boring, I know, for people that have actually know what they're doing and playing the game. But if you are a newcomer, it's nice to kind of bring it down to basics sometimes. So you have all these campaigns, you have a login bonus, every day you log into the bonus, every 24 hours you will get a login bonus, and you can claim your rewards by going into your inbox here and claiming everything. I know a lot of people that don't claim this stuff because they never actually realize that they can do it, and they don't realize that they have a load of stuff in their inbox. But also, on top of that, the bigger issue is that if you do not play the events, right? So there's a lot of new teamed events, and there's a lot of new opportunities for you guys to get tons and tons and tons of in-game currency, and to also learn the mechanics of the game, of what works, the, the life cycle of the game or the content cycle of the game. I would recommend for the first 15 to 20 hours that you complete every single event in the game and learn the mechanics of the game. Complete everything, you'll get tons of GP. Uh, it's very, very easy. It's even easier now. Konami have made it super simple to literally just log in play against the AI, even if you don't want to play the games, you don't need to, you can sim the games and learn the AI, see which different movements are in there, if you're chilling out, you can watch Netflix, you can go away for 20 minutes, come back and you'll have your simmed games, and you can keep doing that until you get the rewards, you get free spins at players, you get free coins, you get free GP, you get free skill trainers, everything that you possibly want, you get free partner club spins, all of this stuff that you get here, so you can get two of these players free for logging in, and claiming them in your inbox and then also you can get another one of these by playing the event and then there'll be another event next week that you'll get it so if you don't see your reward in here first and foremost it might not have arrived yet or it might not be landed in your inbox or you might have not had the event yet to play for it okay so don't panic but you do get free spins the game is super 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 um newcomer friendly it's one of the best i would say games if you are an online player and you like to play it you will see there that with this we have to buy the coins but you can actually get a free spin every week for one of these player of the week players as well by using these cups and all you have to do is go in if you have no team if you've got the base team like this it doesn't really matter just go in and buy players that are on the bonus it doesn't matter what rating they are it doesn't matter if you lose 10 nil you'll still be racking up points so again i know this is a very uh, simple one but as you see there the better your team when you've got a tick beside your team that means that they're a bonus player so you're going to be getting bonus um points for that so it'll take it'll take a shorter amount of time you can also set whether you want to play the games yourself or you whether you want to just be the manager and sim the games and you can make the changes but let the ai play the ai and you can change the difficulty so if you're really struggling you can start on professional or regular and then work your way up to legend or superstar but lads the ai is insane at the moment it's one of the best experiences it feels like playing an online player 
um, offline. It's really, really that challenging. So that's a good tip there. Next up, we've got the new player options and goal and appearance stats have finally been in. This is something that I've been begging for and looking for for months. Obviously, since eFootball 22 launched, they finally get it in to eFootball 2024. And it's quite nice. They've reworked the player options. So what do I mean by player options? Well, from your main menu screen, you now have a lot of options from the player profile. So you can actually pr press square or X on the Xbox, PC, or PlayStation, and you will get into this menu where it says players' actions, right? From that menu, you can now control everything that you do with your player. You can train him up, you can do everything. Obviously, this is an overview of the player, and you can see his stats, his appearances, when he joined the club, uh, his nationality, um, all of that you know, good stuff and information. I reckon they'll expand that out and they're probably laying the breadcrumbs for Master League. But when you press that button, uh, player action button, you will get this and you will be able to do the menu. Before, it was very clunky. It was very time consuming that you'd have to go out and recontract people and retrain people. You had to go into this menu. You had to sort people. You had to go in there and you can still do it from here. And they've also added the goals and the appearances down on the left side here if you scroll down with your right stick. Um, but now it's a lot cleaner, I think, within the game plan, because you can go in, you can pick whatever team you want, and then you can start tweaking with this player actions menu. It's just a UI change, but just in case that you still are doing it the old way, which is this way, it's a lot clunkier. They've refined it and streamlined the experience of, you know, kind of reworking your players very easily. Next up, we have tip number four, which is to choose a manager. So this is a short one. Um, this is a very simple one, but I think it's an extremely important one. So I will do a video on the team playstyle proficiency because they have really changed that and it is making an impact on the game plan. The visual stat boost and all that that the managers used to give you and the visual stat boost that player icons used to give you, the player conditions used to give you is now gone. It's been replaced, right? So we'll talk about that as well. But if you want to choose a manager that suits your playstyle, I see a lot of people not changing their actual team playstyle proficiency within the game plan. So we'll show you how to do it. So say, for example, we want to pick Cristo Balbuena, who is Diego Simeone, who's one of the most overpowered managers and most expensive manager in the game, or Brendan Rodgers, if we want to play a different playstyle. If you want to play a different playstyle, you can see their strengths there. When we actually go up to change manager here, make sure that you change the team playstyle as well. And you will see the differences when you have the collective strength. So it goes down to 2665, uh, but when it's on his team playstyle that he's proficient in, it will go up to the max rating. And then obviously it will come into how your players fit with that. It has been taken out. We'll get into that in a future video. And then tip number five, I would definitely recommend, right? We talked about it before in, in, a, in a previous tip with the events and the login bonuses. I would definitely recommend to stay free to play with this game for the first 15 to 20 hours before you make any decision on parting with your well-earned cash, right? Obviously, this is a very kind of um, different topic depending on your perspective on this. If you want to buy cards and you can afford to do so, brilliant. If you want to stay free to play, brilliant. There's no right or wrong. But you definitely, definitely, definitely can play this game free to play. Like, you can stay free to play. You can pretty much do all the events that we just talked about earlier in this video and have enough money to buy three unbelievable players. Like when you can see and you can get the likes of Marquinhos, right? Who is probably my favorite defender in the game, my favorite standard defender in the game since eFootball 22. I would say him, Timber, and probably Alaba were my three favorite, or Rudiger. Um, but you can get Mbappe, they're super cheap. They've really reworked the GP players um, that you can actually afford to get them super, super simple. There's my alarm. Um, but it is genuinely such a simple, simple process of getting the players. And then also on top of that, even if you want the fancy players, you can get all of these players for free if you're patient and you play uh, the game enough, right? There is a thing called Match Pass. Again, I'm really, really bringing this down to the basics now for any newcomers. If you go to the Match Pass, you will see that after 15 games, you will get a free five-star nominating contract. This nominating contract enables you to get any player from the nominating contract pool. You can see Letaro Martinez there are the players that we just went through. So that's five tips, lads. I hope that it helps you out if you are a newcomer. Any questions, let me know. We live stream every Monday, Thursday, and Friday, and we answer so many questions in the live stream. If you guys have any questions that I didn't cover, I will put it into a second video. As I said, this is a very, very, very basic, simple video of how to set your team up with managers, players, they're the three players I recommended on the standard list to build your team around if you're staying free to play. Do the events, get the login bonuses, 
and anything else, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.